Paul Thomas, Executive Director of the Seneca Lake Wine Trail. With me today is Darren Bowker, winemaker, tasting room manager, check collector. <laughs> exactly. They managing everybody, doing everything. I hope so. Doing a job that I probably don't want to do, but it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> this is Serenity Vineyards. That is. We're yep. sitting out back of the tasting room, just yep. not, not but a couple hundred, a hundred feet from it or less. Yep. And behind you, as the viewers will enjoy, is the great view of your some of your vineyards at least, yep. as it's, well as the view of the lake. Uh, probably a small chunk. We have about 50 acres approximately, all estate. Uh, we grow all our own fruit, we produce it all here, we sell it all here, so it's as, as close to the center of everything as you can get. I mean, you don't have to worry about people bringing fruit, you don't have to worry about going out to get the wine, you just come here, stay and do here, it all and right do it here. all right here. So yeah. you never have to leave? Exactly. <laughs> Excellent. Actually, I wish I could once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, just give, me a, give us a quick overview of Serenity Vineyards, one of the newer wineries on Sunday. Uh, newer winery is for open to the public, we've been open about three years now. Um, I'd say the vineyards have been here since 1977, so you know about 37 years, give or take. Uh, it's owned by the Smith family. Uh, it was started by the current owner's father. Uh, unfortunately, he had uh, early death, and he ended up taking it over. I think in '82 or '83. Uh, at that point, I think they switched some of the varieties because they had a lot of like native and hybrid stuff at the time, and then they decided to go with vinifera. And so we are mostly vinifera, although we do have some Cayuga and some Saval, but we mostly focus on your Rieslings, your Chardonnay, your Pinot, Merlot, Cabernet Franc. Well, I think we were talking just before this interview, mm -hmm. and you were reminding me, you know, not only that you're an estate winery, in the mm -hmm. truest sense of the word, you, right. know, you grow the grapes, you make the wine, uh, but also that you do focus on a lot of viniferas and reds, and drier sure. wines yep. too. Yep. Elaborate uh, on some of that if you would. Well, the dry wines tend to lend themselves because of the grape varieties. Uh, you know, you have reds, I mean, you could add sugar, but who wants a sweet Merlot? I mean, we can have a sweet Concord grape, but we don't have those varieties. Uh, we also realize that there's a new trend of people coming into the area that are really looking for the dry wines and want good quality dry wines that they can compare to or their favorite regions outside of the area. And uh, we've been very lucky in that sense that people have actually been coming around and saying, hey, you guys are doing a good job here and keep doing it. Uh, yeah, we get some people looking for sweet wines, but luckily we have lots of friends on the trail that we can send them their business and they do the same for us looking for dry wines. Yeah. So it's, it's a symbiotic relationship with our uh, partners and stuff. So. Yeah, definitely. Because I mean, you, you want to be able to know, you want the customers when they come to visit the region to know right. they're going to be able to find a wine that appeals to their palate. Right, exactly. Clearly. Yeah. Um, so your tasting room is a little bit different. I personally like it. I yeah, think it it's really neat. <laughs> it is. It's. Uh, I guess to say it's kind of the easy way out, uh, what we did is we had our authentic, production. Darren, authentic, Darren. Go with authentic. Okay, authentic. Uh, <laughs> it's authentic. It's rustic. It's uh, <laughs> it's in the heart of the production facility. Uh, we have a little corner that's kind of obviously dedicated specifically for tastings and sales and stuff like that. But from there, you can see the barrel program. You can see our tanks. You can see our press. Uh, the only piece of equipment that we don't ourselves have currently is a bottling line. Uh, thank God for that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it is. A lot of people come in, and the first thing they walk in and say, "Wow, look at this!" And so yeah, it's it's. Uh, not only do we have wines that seem to be appealing to more and more customers, but the fact that they can come in and you know either it's new to them and they say, "Oh, we've never seen this," or they say, "Oh, this reminds me of you know when we came here 20 years ago." Oh. Some of the other people were in that same kind of a you know a, a shack or a sure. small building. Just you know, doing the best they right, could with exactly, limited resources. Exactly. They had, yeah. And so it seems to be, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, God, this is what I wanted to see. So, you know, it's an experience. Plus, you know, for the newbies on the tour, uh, you know, well, tell me how this works. I don't know anything about this. And so we can, you know, just point it out rather than just talking about them and then looking up going, what, what are you talking about? So, right. Well, I think it's really cool because, like you said, you know, so many wineries these days, not that there's anything wrong with it, right, obviously, yeah. but they've got very separate tasting rooms mm -hmm. from the production facility. And right. to, to, to walk in, and see this huge tank of juice yeah, right yeah. right mm -hmm. there is, yeah. is I think, really neat. Yeah, and they do tend to very much enjoy it, and they always ask us what the little overflow thing is, and they think that's wine, and I say, no, that's for our cooling system. <laughs> so then you start talking, and then they get confused, and then you have to back off a little bit, but it's cool as long as they're learning something. <laughs> they're learning yep. something as long as they're buying wine. Exactly, yep, bottom line, yep. <laughs> Anything else you want to talk about, Darren? Uh, not really, other than we got some new releases, but obviously, you know, by the time some of the folks see this, they might not be new releases anyways. Um, but yeah, definitely come on in, check them out. Uh, we'd always be happy to even if you're a sweet drinker, we'd just love to have you come in and check it out, talk to them. And well, and you never know, too. Right. You know, you never know. A sweet so yeah. person who characterizes themselves as a sweet yeah. wine drinker might taste a semi dry and say, yeah. oh my gosh. Actually, this is delicious. we've it's had a lot of people taste our dries and say, wow, these aren't bad. Yeah. So I think, you know, I mean, if they're willing to give it a shot, they might like it. And if not, we always say, when you come over to the dry side, we'll take care of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Darren Bacher, winemaker, tasting room manager, all around employee here cool. at Serenity Vineyards. Thanks for your time. Cool. Paul, thank you.